Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Joyful Jessie. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how we took this very cluttered room and not very functional for a young little girl and completely transformed it into the perfect room for our young daughter. And we did this all on a very small budget. So make sure to stick around and watch. Begin by giving you guys a little bit of background about this particular room. It served as our home office for the first five years of marriage. And then the kids came along. And so we thought, well, let's keep it as an office, but let's make it a playroom and a family room area. Well, that became a little bit too crowded. So then we moved all the toys over to Noah's room. And then this room just became almost like a storage space where we just put stuff in. So the office stuff was still in there. The kids coloring stuff was just randomly in there. It was just not organized at all. And we were just using it to, like I said, store stuff. And so what I wanted to do was designate this room for Solaris. I did have already a dresser in there with her clothes in. There was some clothes in the closet, but it was not designated for her. She had a little space over here to play with Legos and it was just not made for a young little girl. So what I decided to do was remove absolutely everything, everything that was not hers, and throw away anything that we no longer needed so that this room could be a space used specifically for her, and she could enjoy actually being in it and playing it in as well. about a year and a half ago. When I look at this, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that I actually had this much stuff. I can't believe that one of these hangers at some point had one of my articles of clothing hanging on it in my closet. After going through Mamie's closet, this is what we have. Quite a lot of space left over here. Um, these over here are her dresses and I do have some of Noah's church clothes. He doesn't like to dress up very often so he has one. A lot of this stuff I haven't bought. A lot of this stuff has been given to me by my sister or by friends that have handed me down stuff for her. Um, I have her little raincoats here in case she needs it. Well, I know one of those is going to her grandma's house because she spends a lot of time in the floor at her grandma's. But the floor is absolutely clear. It's actually a walk-in closet. Oh my goodness. Now that the decluttering was over, it was time for us to get this room painted. And 12 years ago, I painted these moldings white and I did it so wrong. So it was time for Sean to strip it down and see what it looked like underneath there. So now that we know for sure we wanna scrape down the paint off of our baseboards and our molding, I am here at the Value Home Center because now we need a scraper. That little ruler is just not gonna cut it. Totally worth it, I want that old, uh, original wood look. I know white trimming and molding is very in right now. It was in 12 years ago when I did it and I did a crappy job at it. But there is a way to revert that mistake and I'm so glad that Sean is doing this. How much you pay for this, Sean? It's like 13 bucks, 12 bucks. Put it on there and you let it sit. Look how it just starts bubbling. You want to make sure you use some gloves because this stuff can irritate your skin. But this stuff definitely works. After Sean was done with all the hard work of stripping down the moldings, it was my turn to come in and clean up all that mess. Well, you know what they say, teamwork makes the dream work. So super cool. Um, 
The kids and I went over to my mom's for dinner really quick today and Sean was just working on the molding. And we decided that we were gonna revert back to the white molding because the wood underneath wasn't as good as we were expecting it to. So after we stripped all of that, we decided to revert back to painting it white, which I'm glad that we stripped it down because now we have painted it correctly. That paint is not gonna peel, so I'm glad we did that because we're doing everything right now. But it was just so exciting to come here and, I mean, I was only gone for a few hours. I to come have a here. here. Yeah. And even though it's not done, but to kind of be able to see yeah. what it's going to look like and that May is definitely going to love it. It's so exciting. I can't wait till we get the entire room done and set up and yeah. ready to go. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> we want it so Sean did two coats and we are realizing that we're going to need one more coat because that green underneath it was very dark. So I am here to get another, uh, huh? Yeah, I see Marshall. So we're here just to get another pail of paint so we can do that um, third coat. And this is the coat we're using, Lady Pink. If you are new here, I invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you never miss out when we post a new video. Once the painting was done, it was time for us to head out and find some fun decorative pieces for Solaris's room. And I always love shopping with a deal, so I took advantage of their 50% off any of their wall decor. The sheets we are using are sheets that we have had for a while now that we've also used to use in our room. And I think we had gotten them years ago over at TJ Maxx, and I think the quilt was at All East. I got these two super cute canvases at Hobby Lobby on clearance for only $3.74 each. Aren't they just adorable? I love the llama. And I'm gonna be putting them right there using these little hooks. If there are any rooms that you're currently working on making over in your house, go ahead and comment below. I would love to hear what you are doing. This is actually the part I enjoy the most, setting up the room. I don't like the other stuff. I enjoy setting up and decorating the room. Um, the stuff that I was able to do, I went ahead and put it up and the rest that I needed some sort of leveling, I left that for Sean because I really don't have a good eye for that. This particular rug I actually bought over at Aldi, the grocery store. Um, I think it was like 48 bucks and it was the perfect color. It went so well with the room and I love the texture that it had on it. We're using all of the furniture that we already had. No need to go buy new stuff. This particular lamp I got over at Target for only $10. This basket we've had for a little bit and I think it was from TJ Maxx. And then this little bird gold thing I actually found on clearance over at Home Goods. And I thought this is like the perfect thing to use to hold all of her scrunchies. I decided to include a couple of before pictures just so you guys can see what those areas used to be beforehand.
this little switch here I absolutely love. I actually got it at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. I think it turned out to be like $2.50. In this area over here, the shelf that we have, we've had for a while from Ikea. Like I had mentioned, the basket we've had for a while and that was from TJ Maxx. The lamp was only $10 at Target. And I love the little area to put her scrunchies that I got on clearance over at Marshall's. In here, I just have all of her outfits. And then on the side, I just put a basket for her dirty clothes. This picture, I absolutely love this little rainbow. I actually got it also on clearance at Home Goods. And the baskets, the top two we've had for a while, and we just used them for her stuffies. And then I had the bottom basket for a while too. And this one is the one that I just went out and bought because I needed an extra one. So the other basket I'm just using for her blocks or cards. And then this area over here, we're using it for her books and any art supplies that she uses, like her markers or crayons and her coloring books. And then in the bottom, we also have some more of her books that we like to read and her Legos and I absolutely love this bin because you know everything is there it's so easy for her to pick up and just store away so it works perfect and then this particular shelf we actually got also at Burlington um, I think it was maybe like 14 or 15 dollars along with this canvas and when I saw it I thought this is so perfect for Slara's. This particular little plant we actually had for a while. I had it downstairs on the piano in our living room, so I decided to just use it up here. And then this little garland, eventually what I wanna do with this garland, I got it at Hobby Lobby, is that I wanna put maybe little baby pictures of her along the way or pictures of her milestones. And along this wall, the decor on this wall was also from Hobby Lobby at 50% off. Now, we changed our window treatments into these blinds that we actually got at Lowe's. I think they were like $35 each, and they're this nice, pretty faux wood, and it just is so durable, there's no strings which always makes me nervous around kids. And you can just open it to the side. If you wanna make it go up, you simply lift it up or pull it down to make it go down. So it's very, very kid friendly. After adding everything up of how much we spend in this room, we only spent $375, which is not too bad considering that it was a complete and total transformation. So we are so happy, we are so pleased with it, and so is Solaris. She is one happy camper. Thank you so much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time, bye.